Good morning, students. In the earlier videos of lesson number nine, force and loss of motion, we had discussed about the theory part as well as the examples which were given in the test. So moving on further to the assignment of this chapter, the first question is define the following terms, and that the first one is force, the external effect that is push or pull, which changes the state of motion or rest of a body. Is known as force. I repeat, the external effect that is push or pull, which changes the state of motion or rest of the body, is known as force. Inertia. Inertia is the property of a substance to maintain its state of motion or rest. I repeat, inertia is the property of an object to maintain its state of motion or rest. What is momentum? Momentum is the product of mass and velocity. I repeat, momentum is the product of mass and velocity. Second question: State the units of the following quantities. First is force. Force unit is newton, comma, kg meter per second. I repeat, newton. That is symbolized by capital N and kg meter per second square. Second is mass. The unit of mass is kg or gram. That is kilogram and gram. Velocity. Its unit is meter per second, centimeter per second. That is m oblique s, cm oblique s. Momentum. Its unit is newton second. Or kg meter per second. I repeat, the unit of momentum is newton second, comma kg meter per second. Third question: Answer the following questions. Which law of motion defines force? So the first law of motion defines force. The question was: Which law of motion defines force? So the first law of motion defines Force. Second question is, which law of motion gives magnitude of force? Second law of motion gives magnitude of force. The second law of motion gives you magnitude of force. The third question is a blank. Newton per kg is the unit of which physical quantity? The solution is provided. It is the unit of acceleration. How? Newton per kg. The unit of Newton, as we had seen in the formula, one Newton is equal to one kg meter per second square divided by kg. Kg kg gets cancelled. It is meter per second square, which is the unit of acceleration. We'll see one more time. Newton per kg is the unit of which physical quantity? Newton per kg, one Newton is equal to one kg meter per second square, which we had seen. Just after Newton's second law of motion, so that is kg meter per second square divided by kg. Kg kg gets cancelled. It is meter per second square. A Newton per kg is equal to meter per second square, which is the unit of acceleration. The next question is: Newton second is the unit of which physical quantity? A solution: Newton second. Newton that is kg meter per second square into second, that is written as kg meter into second upon second square. That is kg meter law of division s raised to two minus one. That is kg meter per second. So Newton second that is equal to kg meter per second. It is the unit of momentum. I repeat, Newton second is the unit of dash. That is Newton second. Is equal to kg meter per second, which is the unit of momentum. Which law of motion is also called Galileo's law of inertia? Newton's first law of motion is also called Galileo's law of inertia. Moving on further, Answer the following questions. It is defined balance force, 
unbalanced force. We have already seen in the earlier video, we will just revise it out. If a body under the influence of two or more than two forces does not change its state of motion or rest, then the two forces are said to be balanced force. I repeat, if a body under the influence of two or more than two forces does not change its state of motion or rest is known as balanced force. Unbalanced force. If a body under the influence of two or more than two forces changes its state of motion or rest is known as unbalanced force. I repeat, if a body under the influence of two or more than two forces changes its state of motion or rest, then the forces are said to be unbalanced force. Second question, state the effects of external force on the body. There are four effects of external force on the body. First is shape of the body changes. Second, position of the body changes. Third, state of motion of the body changes. And last is velocity of the body changes. I repeat, there are four effects of external force on the body. That is, shape of the body changes, position of the body changes, state of motion of the body changes, and last, velocity of the body changes. Write the thoughts of Aristotle about motion. Aristotle thought about motion was it is the natural tendency of an object to maintain its state of motion or rest unless and until an unbalanced force acts on it. I repeat, Aristotle's thought about motion was a body tries to maintain its state of motion or rest unless and until an unbalanced force acts on it. Next question is, give the statement of Newton's first law of motion. The statement of Newton's first law of motion is a body tries to maintain its state of motion or rest unless and until an unbalanced force acts on it. A body tries to maintain its state of motion or rest unless and until an unbalanced force acts on it. Next question is differentiate between force and momentum. Force is the external effect which changes the state of motion or rest of the body. Momentum is a product of mass and velocity. Force is symbolized by capital F. Momentum is symbolized by P. Unit of force is Newton kg meter per second square. Whereas unit of momentum is Newton second and kg meter per second. One more time, the external effect which changes the state of motion or rest is called force. Momentum is a product of mass and velocity. Momentum is symbolized by P, force by F. Unit of force is capital, that is Newton and kg meter per second square. Momentum is Newton second and kg meter per second. The other questions are state the Newton's first law of motion and give illustrations to explain it. We have already seen the Newton's first law of motion statement. The illustrations which we have taken were the examples of carom as well as flicking of the car which gets displaced and the coin tries to maintain its state of inertia. Then the statement of Newton's second law of motion and its derivation. Explain the experiments carried out by Galileo and its observation on the slope, which we have already discussed. State the law of conservation of momentum and derive it, which is also discussed in the earlier content. Sixth question is solve the numericals. All the examples of the test book which we had solved, it is nine, from 9.1 to 9.8, whereas the numericals of exercise. Hope. You might have understood and you will complete the assignment intact.